Well, let's start with this one. We all know in our in our Noah, right, in, in our conscience, we know that the legal fraternity is not correct. We don't know why it's not correct. We just know it's not correct. And we know, or we should know, that there is a huge difference between that which is legal and that which is lawful. Yes. Right? But I found the definition of the word legal. So you've got to understand the legal fraternity, the barristers, the judges, all that sort of stuff, the parliaments pass laws that are legal, the police enforce so this was sent to, um i it it knocked me clean off my socks i tell you legal def the definition of the word legal um it can be found hang on this found is the word legal the, is the undoing of god's law according to the 1893 Dictionary of Arts and Sciences Encyclopedia Britannica of Arts and Sciences, right? And so it was published in 1893 that the definition of the word legal is the undoing of God's laws. Wow. Think about it. No, now... When you think about the ramifications of that going forward, it's it's mind-boggling uh, and probably a bit scary to a number of people. Uh, well, but to discover if you're going to undo if you're going to undo God's laws, that means you must be implementing laws from some other some other entity, deity, whatever. Um, call it what you will. Um, mm. I call it evil. Yep. And so if you're undoing God's laws, you're implementing the laws of evil. So in this, we've got to go back to Scripture, and it says you may be in this world, but you are not to be of this world. So the undoing of God's laws, we're not of that world. We are to stay obedient to God's laws, common law, right? Yes. That's where we're supposed to be. Now, try this on for size. <laughs> Here's point number two. Try this on for size. The Hansard of the Australian Parliament or the Commonwealth Parliament as it was at the time, or the Parliament of the Commonwealth, they must be held in the archives for all time. Now, a lot of the archives they're telling us has been digitised and all that sort of stuff. However, one would ask a question. Why would the 1973 um, Senate and House of Reps Hansards be found in a disused prison library off the coast of Victoria? Yeah. Uh, Mate, in, in 1973 is when Whitlam, the traitorous mongrel, right, when he took the Commonwealth out of every aspect of governance in this country. Well, may we say, God save the Queen. Because nothing will save the Governor-General. The proclamation which you have just heard read by the Governor-General's official secretary was countersigned Malcolm Fraser. <laughs> who will undoubtedly go down in Australian history from Remembrance Day 1975 as Kerr's Kerr. Yeah. 
and the Hansards are now in safekeeping. Thank you to some very, um, very good men who were quick to move because the library was about to be emptied out and destroyed and burnt. Right. Right. So that's point number two. So that's just worth a thought, but it's okay. We've got them. They're in safe hands. I don't have them. Other people have them, right? Now, the, other, the next thing is, try this for another bombshell. The Australia Act. Well, I was talking to a gentleman in Victoria the other day who I was introduced to by a friend of mine who was the guy who put me on the quest of the Constitution 36, 37 years ago, right? He yeah. introduced me to this uh, other friend of his, and this friend of his and a couple of his mates were onto the Australia Act right from the get-go. And these men are highly intelligent, very, very, um, oh, what would I say? astute they were both astute biblically and astute legally and they found that in the queensland constitution and the western australian constitution for those two states particularly to come over to the australia act so they had to have a referendum in each of those states to allow the state to become a part of the Australia Act. Those referendums right. were never held. Now, when they approached the West Australian Premiers and the Attorney General, they got short-shifted out of town. When they spoke to Joe Bjorki peterson who was a monarchist, Joe was beside himself. His advisers, and here we go again, the advisers had told him everything was okay. They showed him in the document where it wasn't. He was, he was beside himself and he wanted to have the referendum, but that was he was stopped from doing it by the Attorney General and a couple of other people because all the, um, all the arrangements have been made for the Queen to come to Australia. Yeah. You can't stop that. Rah, 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 rah. Anyhow, so that happened. So they thought, right, we're off to the UK. And they were in uh, the UK in the gallery in the parliament when margaret thatcher produced the australia act to the uk parliament for it to become right. an act of the uk parliament and she read out the fact that the australia act had been agreed upon by all the peoples of australia including the required referendums and he stood up and said that's a lie and you're not allowed to speak from the gallery but he was the only, they, him and his mates were the only one in the gallery apart from the police. And she read it again. And they called it a lie the second time. And she read it again. And he stood up and he said, the cock has now crowed three times in the Parliament of the United Kingdom. Three times you have lied. Now, the interesting thing about that, she passed that act on a Sunday. Huh. You can't pass you can. Acts of Parliament on a Sunday. So no. we are now pulling all this together um, just in our spare time, having a little bit of fun out there. You know how it is. Um, just for entertainment purposes. I, I completely understand. Absolutely. So, yeah, so we've, um, we've, we've had a busy week. <laughs> My word. Bloody hell. Yeah. So, so, and you know, Carl, uh, what's good about this is I, I get to tell these stories and, the, and pass this knowledge along, but it belongs to so many other people, the work that other people have done. They, they're working like Trojans and not getting the recognition at this stage they absolutely deserve. And it's all right for me to stand up here and go, yak, 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 but this work is not my work. Uh, and I can't be more grateful for them. Uh, but I understand what you're saying. And to those folks that are working behind the scenes on all of this, then their day will come. They're, they will be remembered. They will be known. 